Well, one of my um, questions when I was writing the book was why did Caravaggio stab Renuccio Tomassoni with his fencing sword? Why did he stab him in the femoral artery, which is very close to the testicles? Why would he do that? Was this an accident? Well, it's in my view, nothing that happened in Caravaggio's violent life was accidental. I was curious to know if it's possible to actually plan to attack somebody in the groin during a, during a sword fight. So I actually met the, the head of the Roman Fencing Academy and he gave me a graphic and, in fact, rather painful demonstration of how to, um, how to get a guy in the groin when you're fighting with a sword. It's all about the punella, this little dagger that you're anyway out. It's a long story. You have to read the book. The, the fact is, if Caravaggio had been a well-behaved artist, um, we wouldn't know nearly as much about him as we do, because most of what survives in the case of people's lives in Rome at that time is the sort of the record of their crimes and misdemeanors. If you were had up before court, if you were arrested, then there's a record of it. So um, because Caravaggio was such um, a vigorously violent man, in a, in a vigorously violent time, and because so many of his friends and enemies were also like him, there's this extraordinary jigsaw composite puzzle. You get this whole lost world that comes up through these documents. I think Caravaggio was unique because he was the only painter who really just was prepared to cut through this rather apologetic late mannerist style, very nervous, very lacking in conviction, that dominated Italian art in the later part of the 16th century. And, and he just replaced it with something that was so strong, so powerful, so dramatic at the level of narrative, at the level of human drama, at the level of emotion, at the level of uh, theological depth, significance, and at the level of, of the way he made his paintings look with this incredible striking light and dark, um, these agonized hands and faces. He just, he was sort of, you couldn't say no to him. Uh, and, and although his effect on art was immediately just to change everything. You know, there's art before Caravaggio and there's art after Caravaggio and they're not the same thing.